this. Oh, wow. I don't know if that's asbestos. Uh, no, it's pink. I don't think it is. I think asbestos is white. Careful now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's in here. Tool shed. Back door. There is a front door. There's right. a, oh, this looks like a bathroom. Look, there's a toilet. And there's an old Coke bottle. Where? Right there, on the floor. Is it old? It's old, but I don't want it. You? No. Careful now. It's a lot heavier than you are. I know. Look at these stairs. Look at the top of those stairs. Look at that. Look how sketchy that is. It's a backyard, too, so... Well, take your time. <laughs> what about the back? Well, this is as close as I ever got when I came here with my mom. I don't know if I want to go down there. Is it even open? Yeah, I guess it would be. <laughs> Mr. Daddy Long Lake. Hi, it's going to get stung. I don't know if I want to go down there. I'm scared. <laughs> We're going to have to go down there because there's no other way. Oh, it's looking. Oh. Oh, jeez, yeah, look at the foundation. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, look, look how cool. Look at the foundation. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Would you say it's abandoned? I think That's so. That's not water. Yeah. Stagnant water. Look at all the mosquitoes. Safe to say, Dan, there's nothing in this house. Check it out. Oh. Just abandoned. That's it's it. cool though. I like this house. It has old doorknobs. We're treasure hunters. I'm going over here. Okay. Hmm. Uh, treasure. Look at that. Looks like they have a modern thing though. What about this? Yeah, well, I mean they put it in. Obviously it's just it was abandoned. The only way upstairs is through the basement, so. Yeah, I don't know. And it's not worth my life. It looks like it's water down there. I don't even see anything in there, to be honest with you. The door's like lock locked. Yep. It's abandoned. I'm not uh, in there. I mean, sad. here, you want to take one quick peek? We'll take a quick peek. If you want to change I consider. But, <laughs> you know, it's going to be really cool. It's not worth my life. No, obviously. Now, if we don't disturb anything, it shouldn't collapse on us, to be honest. Yeah. What's, what's the odds? Hmm. You can hop up on that. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I could probably hop up on that. So you die. I might. I don't know. Take a peek in that window. Careful, please. I want to walk on that. I walk like on the left where the brick is. Strong. There you go. Well. They're renovating. They are? I see spackle and stuff, so. Hmm. Yeah, this is, there's nothing in there. It's gutted. Aww. Like, gutted, gutted. Well, that was interesting. Oh, it's still fun, I think. I don't even know if it's worth renovating. <laughs> Maybe they were renovating and it just got... That's what I mean. Maybe it's haunted. Yeah. Are you haunted, house? Is there anyone in there? Don't follow us home is all I have to say. <laughs> they you. are welcome home. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me, Dana, Dana's Antique Goodies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As you join me yet again and going through some more neat and nifty things I have found at some more recent um, flea markets and so on. Antique stores and such. We'll start out with the cool thing. Yeah. Mr. Jack 
Smells kind of like a mechanic shop, I feel like. But um, right here we have, folks, is a large, uh, extra large uh, ceramic jack o' lantern. Ceramic jack o' lantern um, with a popcorny looking mouth, nose, two eyes. Um, yeah. I have a smaller one just like this for the most part, but I never, ever, ever came across one quite this big, ever. And he's in pretty nice shape, other than a few minor chips and chips. <laughs> like this. Let's see if I can see it like that. But um, I mean, that's pretty good. Put your finger in here and you go, you know, it is isn't that. has some gunk on them and stuff, uh, like tape, take some of that off with, uh, rubbing alcohol, there's some more action, my hands are actually tacky, I'm touching it, ew, like how the heck did all that happen, here's the inside, the glue and stuff, in the back of his face, there's some, uh, masking tape to, uh, keep his little plastic, uh, facial features all intact, this seems kind of loose, Tapes there, but um, yeah, it's in. Yeah, got this thing. jack-o-lantern was purchased at a antique store for about 80 smeckles and then from that same antique store we got this belt when i say we i mean more or less me and my boyfriend but uh i don't know all these videos center around me are more or less so i'm gonna say it was me Now, I've seen this guy online plenty of times and elsewhere, but boy, is he one pricey son of a gun. You can get him anywhere from poured to like mint condition for like, um, what is it like? 80 on a low side, 150 on a middle side, and 200 on a high side, which I don't blame him. He is pretty cool, but um, it's not entirely rare because he is pretty common, but I don't know. He seems like in pretty good shape, and the only thing he's pretty much missing is his light. But I could buy a light for any of these blow molds just about anywhere. Just the bottom of them. Little nicked up, well, who's going to see that? I don't know what this was for. Could you turn into a bank account too? Never a blow mold. I like him. It's just the right size. You got jack o lantern, a skull, a ghost. Why not? I wonder if it's his skull. Can you imagine? Again, I'm not looking at the lens. Sorry, I'm not giving it to like the eye contact. I apologize. But, um, yeah, I only got this little guy for uh, 50 bucks. So that's not too bad. So him for 50, him the jack o' lantern, the ceramic jack o' lantern for 80. So like 137 or something. And then, um, before the antique store, because, okay, so first we went to this, um, 
all outdoor flea market. And then from there was this little itty bitty indoor flea market. And then from there, later in the day, was the antique store where I got the ceramic jack-o'-lantern and the blow molded ghost. But um, prior to that was uh, this. This is uh, my partner's. I actually find it pretty cool myself though. But um, it's a uh, hand-painted uh, ceramic skull and skull and skull like a totem pole with a melted candle at the top of it. So, actually, a uh, light bulb. But anyway, so he, basically all he bought was just this. And we had to go to, uh, we had to run on over to good old Wally Mart to get this separately. But, um, yeah, it's like in really nice shape. Someone took their good old time painting this, and there's like not a nick on it. Not even a, you know, a scratch, a nick, a rub mark on the bottom. Like where there would be for that going like this across the table and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's in really nice shape. Either it's pretty new and someone, you know, more or less painted this as a hobby, like all things, just like the vintage jumbo size ceramic jack o' lantern light. Or this could also be quite old and they just took very good, you know, care of it. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, whoever painted this did a very good job. Very good job shading it all. But, um, yeah, so this guy, along with a cup he got, came to five bucks. So if I divide the two of them, I'd say this was about three. And this little light at the top from good old Wally Mart was like a, like, I think like 288, almost three bucks. But that's because it's the one that has the little flame on the inside that looks like it's a lighted light, like a candlelight because this is a candle, and, you know. But, um, yeah, I think it's pretty nice. Here's a close-up. Not even the top of this where the hole is to insert the light was uh, chipped or nothing. So like I said, this is either fairly new and someone has just recently painted this, they acquired it and wanted to get rid of it, or it is fairly old and they just took very very good shape. Took very good shape. I mean, very, very good care of it. Can't speak, I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, I think it looks quite nice. Do a little, uh, CVS rotation here, as though I was selling some, uh, good old, uh, made in China rings for, uh, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But wait, folks, you can get those rings for a fraction of the price. Anyway, let's watch me wrap the cord around now that I finally making this video. Now this is like, I think four days after I uh, acquired all of this. Let's see. Today is Thursday, I believe. Wednesday. No, maybe it was five days. It's been five days since I acquired all this and just now making a video of it. Like I was playing to this whole time. <laughs> uh, so Sunday, so today's Thursday. Okay. That's their books. So there was this really creepy looking guy, but he had some neat stuff. He had like a table with a bunch of little boxes, and within those little boxes was a bunch of random trinkets. Now some's for keep, some I don't know, maybe for some repaints, I guess we'll see, but uh, first thing that caught my eye 
is this little guy? Look at that little spooky kitty cat. Ain't he cute? Has no scent. Well, that's cool, at least. Let's see, he has a little, little stringy string. Wow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's him. He even has little whiskers. I don't know if you can see them. Right here. Yeah, that's him. It's make, like, uh, made out pom pom balls and stuff. And I got this guy. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's smiley. Again, he has a little string of ding ding. Um, I think uh, for both my boyfriend's birthday and for Christmas, I got him two vintage smileys from the 90s, much like this guy. Um, have to show him something. There's one that's orange just like this, but it's not a bigger version of it. There is a yellow one that's a bigger version of this. But this one is just completely different. It's really cute. I'll have to show you something. And then I got these two. Now, I have this weird thing where I just can't get one and not the other sometimes in certain scenarios. I just felt really bad if I didn't. Even though it's an inanimate object and it has no feelings whatsoever other than myself. I feel like it would be something right off the Toy Story. So, I wanted this guy. Oh no. This thing broke. Oh. Well, that's the end of that. But I wanted this guy. And he had a brother. This guy. Now, we're not the same cat, but they are from the same maker, it appears, and were painted by the same person. Or, well, maker. Sorry, not looking into your eyes again, but, um,. I couldn't just get one and not the other. Um, the guy for all this stuff so far wanted a dollar each. I asked him if he'd do a dollar for the both of these guys, and particularly because this guy's ears <laughs> are chipped. So I got each of these guys for 50 cents each, so that's not too bad, I guess. And then last but not least is this guy. I got him as a repaint. Maybe. Think about it. This is this guy. Close. Do another little CBS type turntable thing. This is the bottom. Was made in China. He's actually in pretty good shape. I might just keep him the way he is, or I might, might not. But I pretty much just bought him because he would be cool to repaint. He's a plastic prison. But yeah, he seems to be all in one piece. I like that he's kind of sparkly. Okay. So that's it for that. And I got. Him, him, his brother, this, that. <clears throat> and then you know me, I can't, um, can't stop buying my mom jewelry. I just can't so we can see why I go get to that. So. What else do we got here? Oh yeah. Before I get too ahead of, ahead of myself, like I just did. Um, not only the jack-o'-lantern, not only the ghost, but I did get this for myself. Jack-o'-lantern and the ghost are more or less for my partner. I mean, I love Halloween stuff, especially the pumpkin. Like I said, the pumpkin's pretty hard to come across. It's pretty hard to come across with. I don't know. But I got myself this. And yes, I have more of these, but they have smiley faces. They're really neat. And again, I got those for my boyfriend for like his birthday and for Christmas and all that because he's a nut for smileys. As you can kind of 
to see here. Actually, you can't see that. Here. Got the real McCoy right there. The jar, piggy bank. Got the cup over here. Smiley bank. Yeah. Like Snoopy stuff. So here's the. I can get it out. Ain't that pretty. Look at that. It's quite heavy too. Plastic flowers. Little, little butterfly right there. <laughs> That's the underneath. Little sticker. That's the got the little leaves. Doesn't smell like anything. Don't know why I do that, but yeah, I got the butterfly. But, um, ow. It's in like one piece. A lot of times these things um, are quite chipped up. And, I don't know. It's a little itty, but it's at the bottom. Especially right down here where you're never gonna, you're never gonna notice that. This is, this is where you notice it on the flowers and stuff. The butterfly is just a little bent, but that's okay. Adds to the character of its age. That's that. Hmm. Oh, here's a funny one. So, now that we have left the flea market, the outdoor flea market, here's the indoor flea market on the way back. Ooh, there. Here's a good one. This. It's Ron the Ghost. Ron the Ghost. <laughs> I'm actually gonna paint that over, but I couldn't resist this guy. Now, this guy, this mold, is a pretty popular mold, whether it's in ceramic or candle form, big or small, white or red. Um, it's a pretty common ghost pretty common vintage ghost, but what isn't all that common is the smiley face. Like, he has, like, a full-on smiley face, and not just any ordinary smiley face. He has, like, a like a really 60s, 70s looking smiley face with elongated black eyes and a really uh, uppity looking smile. You can't just not look at him and tell me he's not a, almost like a smiley face type ghost. But this, uh, this here is Ron the Ghost. And even if I cover up his name, he'll always be Ron to me. <laughs> this is what he looks like. This is the bottom. Yep. It's Ron the Ghost. And then from there, got some jewelry from my mother. We'll be up to, um, 18 pairs of earrings. I think. So here's three pairs of earrings. Um, let's see. I'll take them out of the, these things so you can get a better look at them. But I'm not going to take them out of the baggies. That would just be silly. But I mean, it is a video, so I am going to put my all into it. But I don't know. Oh, yeah. What am I doing? Also, that, um, this thing right here. This was thirty dollars, and now Ron the Ghost was five bucks, as you can see. Not now, focus. Close enough. Hey. What the? It's not focusing. Five bucks. Okay, so first off, I got her these. I thought they were quite nice. They have lots of color in them. They're like little flowers. Lots of color. And then we have 
which they're kind of similar to these ones, but not quite. So they have these ones that look like little reefs. Amistus, I believe it is. And we have these ones with, uh, I forget the name of the stone, but they're yellow. And they have like a reef thing going on too, but they're more oblong. The other ones are like more of like a teardrop kind of shape to have have more like a teardrop sort of shape to them and these are more like an oblong like a leaf it's those and they were like 50 each and then like half off of 50 because everything in this lady's booth was like half off of what it originally was because I guess apparently she's not doing all that too well not doing all that well there, along with the rest of the place. I mean, the place is literally falling apart. Like this, um, one other, uh, indoor flea market me and my boyfriend used to go to. It was, like, literally falling apart. And because of that, they were shutting it down. Um, this is, like, the last of the last, last but not least, the stuff I got from this same lady, or, well, another lady at that same booth. Now this stuff ain't all that special. I don't know why I got it, whether it's for resale, some is for keeps, repaint, I don't know, but there's like uh, eight pieces here. So we got <laughs> one bunny. Oh, had a fall. Two bunny. Bunny. Red bunny. One bear. Two bear. I don't know why. Maybe just because um, she, you know, she was closing up shop, and a lot of these um, really far away indoor, outdoor, outdoor, indoor flea markets that we go to, like the two that we went to like a week or two ago, and these two that we've been to like a few days ago, we only go to once a year. I mean, what's stopping us from going more frequently throughout the summer and all that? Nothing. I mean, we could go, like, every gosh darn Sunday and if we really wanted to, but, I don't know, it just feels more special, and they might just have the same exact thing every single time. So, so why bother? But we went at the right time, that's all I can say. So I got this blue bunny, pink bunny, Mauve bunny. And this uh, beige looking bunny. So we got beige, mauve, pink, and blue. And we got these two bears. One in a darker shade of brown and one in a lighter shade of brown. got these two cats. One in a red, the jingly bell, with a uh, very light and yellow lacy looking bow tie. And one in a beige with a very uh, white, but at first it kind of looked like a lavender bow tie, nothing too fancy. And again with a bell. And these little scooter feet things that go nowhere, it just helps them stand up. And then we got bunnies. There's its eye. This one, and that one. And there's uh, this 
jar, which has absolutely nothing to do with any of this, but, uh, I don't know, it was just an old jar I found up in the cabinets and decided to wash it out and maybe put something in it. So stay tuned for that. I was going to put these guys in it, but, um, I think the opening's too small. Let's see. Yeah, there's no fitting in there. What about you guys? Nope. And you? Nope. I mean, this is big enough to house all that, but not the opening. <laughs> And all of these guys, these wooden guys, uh, came to about six fifty for me to them. I don't know why they had to charge me the fifty cents, being that's an indoor flea market, but I guess every penny counts, especially nowadays. The way uh, gas prices and all that are, seems to be going a little bit lower, but hey, might just go all the way back up again. <sighs> but uh, yeah, that's everything, and I hope you enjoyed as always. Again, I'm not looking into the lens here. You see me looking in my eyes? I hope so. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> also, here's a better look at everything from this point of view. Ron. Oh boy, Ron. Ron had that accident. So again, hope you enjoyed. Hi everyone, it's me, Dana from Dana's and Key Goodies. Welcome back as you join me in filling up this pickle jar. At least I hope it was a pickle jar, not some sort of mayonnaise or pickled eggs jar. Blech. That's disgusting. But anyway, let's just hope it was a uh, pickle jar. Anyway, so as I stated in my previous video, that this jar wasn't purchased at any of the um, flea markets that I have re recently have been to. This is a jar that I've had for a pretty long time. A very long time. <laughs> this was my grandma's jar, and unfortunately she's no longer around to enjoy this or to put stuff in or whatever, like the old people would have done back in the days. And heck, I think it might have had some stuff in it, but I can't remember for the like of me what was in it. That's one point in time. Um, for the longest time, though, this has been in the top of my cupboards, my kitchen cupboards. Um, and it might have had some stuff in it. It might have been just completely empty, as it is currently now, as you can see. Completely empty, other than the air that's in there. Um, I've washed it out once or twice before, possibly, but because it was in the top cabinet, you know, top, top cabinet, the cabinet that you're never really going to go up to, but you just have stuff up there just for, 
you know, storage for safekeeping. Maybe one day you'll take it down from the top shelf and bring it down to the bottom shelf for use, you know, that kind of shelf. But anyway, um, it wasn't really dusty at all, has no, has no, uh, funky smells, which is very good. But, um, I decided to give it a good old clean scrubbing once more for the camera, uh, for the video, to put my stuff in. And again, if I'm going to be putting some stuff in it, I'd like to... I would like it to be as clean as it could possibly be. Boy, that was a mouthful. But anyway, so we're going to fill up this jar with some pretty nifty items that I found. Not from the flea markets, not from the antique stores, not from the estate sales, and not from the art sales. You heard it here, folks. From the internet. Now, if I were to show you just about everything that I've possibly ever purchased from online, we'd be here for like a whole year or so. <laughs> That's a lot of videos. But those videos will be occurring within the near future, such as the cabinet I got back here. That's for a very special occasion. Um, and yes, you're probably wondering, why is Mr. Jack o' Lantern still out, but everything else seems to be put away? Well, like I said in the previous video, he has some sort of uh, dirty, tacky stuff attached to him all over the place. Now that I think about it, I have a feeling that it was duct tape. Clear, gray, duct tape, I don't know, to keep his lid down and all that. Um, yeah, and now it left a really nasty, gross, and sticky residue. So the only reason it looks gross is because the residue was originally clear and then dirt and dust and all this other sorts of debris got caught up in it. He's even kind of dirty in the top of his lid. He needs somewhat of a washing, but I don't know if I'm going to really be able to give him a good washing because he has this, this popcorn stuff, and there's uh, masking tape on the inside of him to hold all that in place because some of it actually is loose. So I'm going to have to give him just a damp, um, a dry, damp cleaning. I don't know how you'd... <laughs> I can't speak. But uh, yeah, he needs a washing. He's dirty. Gotta get some uh, rubbing alcohol to rub all this gross to nasty residue off here. But anyway, back to the main video with the pickle jar. Um, so I've seen these items on Shmeebay and all other sorts of sites, even at the antique stores. I'd see one here, one there, uh, maybe a whole set, but never like a whole old stock, new stock lot. Well. I bought these little itty bitty uh, plastic animals, these colorful plastic animals that you would have won at the carnival like back in the 60s or 70s for the little tykes or like from like the 99 cent store. And I'm going to go in rainbow like order. So we have red poodles. Orange squirrels. Yellow elephants, green, uh, well, not penguins, but ducks, yeah, green ducks, blue cats, and last but not least, purple bears. And I know there's probably not a whole lot here to fill up this whole entire jar, but that's okay. I don't want it to be stuck to the room. I want just enough in there where it's like, oh, look at that. It's a jar full of little animals, colorful animals. So, um, let's start dumping them out so you can get a better look at them. You know, not being in these crinkly plastic bags up there. Anymore. So if I don't get staples everywhere, maybe I should take those out. I will put them up here on the side. So there is no bloodshed. <laughs> so while I'm doing this, let me tell you the fateful story of me almost dying. People on YouTube like stories, right? I'm sure they do. Okay. So me, not being a famous YouTuber or anything, so everyone could pretty much care less, but hey, I'll tell you it anyway. See this band-aid? 
this band-aid right here. So, um, my partner has acquired quite the collection of fish tanks. Quite the collection. <laughs> he thought he was going to have, like, a bunch of different fish tanks or, like, for resale, like, if he could get them quite cheap, he's going to sell them for, you know, what they're worth once they're all cleaned up and everything. Have all the decorations, all the other little attachments, and gizmos and gadgets and whatnot, and who's it's, you know, all that good stuff. Anyway, so we were supposed to move all that from the first floor, or no, the second floor, to the uh, basement, but he wasn't here, so I figured I'd do him the favor and take a lot of that down for him. So I took a 20-gallon uh, tank down, a 10-gallon tank, I think a 5-gallon, two glass fish bowls, like, you know, the kind of bowls that have Dorothy the fish in it from Elmo's World. <laughs> um, the two boxes, uh, there was a big one and a small one, both were equally heavy because of what was in them. Uh, but um, I managed to take all of that down without any problems, you know? One, two, three. Everything, including myself, was all in one piece. Until I took the second 10-gallon tank down, which is just an ordinary 10-gallon tank you can buy at Walmart. And this one, ironically enough, wasn't the one that was in the best of shape, so I guess it doesn't really matter yet. But at the same point, at the, at the same time, you didn't want to be all, like, messed up and whatnot. So... I lost my footing at the top of the stairs, my ankle or whatever gave out, and I had like, I had the fish tank like this in my one hand, and I had a box in the other arm like this, the smaller box, and I lost my grip on it, and instead of just letting it slide down the stairs, like a ski or a mattress, letting it, you know, slide down the stairs and break it to a million pieces, I'm like, that's his fish tank, I gotta get it. So I went to grab for it, and I guess from the force of me grabbing it so quickly, boom, glass everywhere. I spent like a good hour or so just picking up all the glass from underneath the stairs and stuff in the basement. It was a mess, an absolute disaster. And I didn't realize it until afterwards because it just happened so quickly. I wasn't in any pain at the moment. And then I noticed it. Lots of blood. Lots of blood. Going all down my arms. All over my PJs. Actually, these were the same PJs I was wearing that fateful day. And I could have very well lost my life. Thankfully, it didn't hit my um, wrist. Just the side here. But... It took a big enough gouge out of my skin. I was just bleeding so much. And now I don't know if it was from the shock or the blood loss, but I managed to get down to the bottom of the stairs where the tank was, the remaining, you know, structure of it all. I set down the small box. I sat at the bottom of the stairs. I was holding my head. Now, I passed out plenty of other times, but never from, like, getting cut up and all that just from other occurrences I'm a very sickly person let's just sleep at that and uh i sat there i still had the upstairs door open from the basement to the first floor and i have like six kitty cats and um they won't go down the cellar as long as you keep you know you keep going i was going from the second floor to first floor to the basement back and forth back and forth so they weren't bothering to go down well, now that I'm down at the bottom of the stairs ready to pass out, of course they're going to help themselves down the cellar. So, out of nowhere, I just got really ill, really fast, like when you're about to pass out or throw up, and I blacked out. And then when I was starting to come to, at the bottom of the stairs, on the basement floor, I felt like that guy from uh, Misery at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> And, um, you know, everything was really, really, um, low, like, the volume on anything, like, the air conditioner from the, uh, first floor and all that in the kitchen, everything was just very, it sounded very low, I don't know how to word it, and then it started to get all high-pitched, like, you know in those movies where there's, like, a big accident, car accident, or, 
you know, there's like a building on fire about to collapse and everybody's running out of it. You know, it's just other, it's just complete chaos. And you were like knocked out or before, you know, when you're coming to, it's everything just happening so slow and you know, when you're hearing everything, it's very low pitched and then it starts to pick up and you can hear everybody screaming and you can hear the uh, fire trucks alarms and stuff going off. So that's what it was like when I was coming to. And out of all the other cats that were down the cellar, my dear old squeaky cat, my tuxedo cat, was rubbing uh, back and forth across me from my chest to my uh, side and my thighs and my legs and my toes and she just kept going back and forth going rail rail and then she started to need my gut like dough and I think she was doing that because she knew something was wrong so the first thing I did after I got up and managed to get up the stairs was pour myself a glass of orange juice I hate orange juice I'm a lemonade girl all the way but it's supposed to be good to build up uh, whatever you know when you're, when you just passed out and, you know, lost the blood, it's supposed to build up, uh, your vitamins and stuff like that, and then I cleaned myself up, and I patched up my wound, thankfully, again, it didn't cut here, but, uh, it didn't cut down to the muscle of my, um, uh, hand and all, and wrist and all that either, it just lifted up the skin, like almost like I was peeling an apple with an apple peeler so it's pretty much all healed up now but I just keep putting bandages on it to uh you know keep you know debris and stuff from getting on in there because it was it was pretty big and ugly but um yeah I could have potentially died and I didn't have my phone on me it was all the way up onto the second floor I told my uh boyfriend boy I need life alert <laughs> But, um, yeah, I could have died. Blood, blood loss, all that. Not having my phone on me, being at the bottom of the stairs. It's a good thing I managed to even get down to the bottom stairs. I could have just blacked out right there and collapsed down the stairs like Jack and Jill. Falling down the hill and breaking the crown or whatever. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm alive and well. And I know not to do that ever again. If I don't... You know, I mean, I managed to get everything, but maybe I should just wait for someone else to help me and not do it all by myself, you know, because accidents can happen. But, um, let's get on with the show. shall we? So, that's a lot of orange squirrels. Don't have no smell to them. That's good at least. <laughs> got orange squirrels. We got yellow elephants. We got green ducks. Boy, I feel like uh, that book, that children's book, actually, it's one of my books. My mother used to read it to me all the time. It's called Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Dana, Dana, what do you see? I see a purple bear looking at me. Purple bear, purple bear, what do you see? I see a yellow elephant looking at me. Yellow elephant, yellow elephant, what do you see? I see a green duck looking at me. Green duck, green duck, what do you see? I see an orange squirrel looking at me. Orange squirrel, orange squirrel, what do you see? I see a red poodle looking at me. Yellow, or I mean, <laughs> red poodle, red poodle, what do you see? I see a blue cat looking at me. Blue cat, blue cat, what do you see? I see Dana looking at me. Dana, Dana, what do you see? I see the whole world looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, right, here's all this. Let's see here. So, uh, oh, this 
person is still alive. Some have green eyes, some have blue eyes, some have yellow eyes. Here's one of the poodles. Look at that. Boy, he looks intimidating, doesn't he? This is the red poodle. There's a little stamp at the bottom. That stamp says, made in Hong Kong. So there you go. This camera sucks. It's all blurry. We got the poodles. Um. <laughs> Why aren't these guys cute? Wow. Got Mr. Squirrel. Doesn't he look like a joyful little fella? the underneath again. Again, made in Hong Kong. It's the squirrel. Um, got lots of uh, elephants. <clears throat> Here's an elephant. Tusk is up, so he is good luck. At least that's what I heard. Um, we got ourselves a green ducky bucky. <laughs> got ourselves a duck. Made in Hong Kong. Nothing new. Nothing has changed. Boy, this sucks. Look how blurry that is. Ah. Jesus Christ. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Let's see. Here's a blue kitty. And last but not least, a purple bear. Only you can prevent a potential successful YouTuber accidents of not uh, overdoing yourself and dragging down a bunch of fish tanks to the basement. <laughs> uh, just pulling your leg. But um, again, made in Hong Kong. So let's fill up this jar, shall we? Take off all the dangerous uh, staples. Staples. Well, I can't speak for like move out the uh, Red Sea here and fill her up. Actually, no. I want to mix all these guys up, don't we? You like the fact that I'm mixing all these up. Maybe. Alright. Put some of these son of a guns in here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do this so take it nice and easy. These are ancient after all, you know. So when you were in grade school, did you ever have those um, giant plastic cat treat containers that had all those different little colored bears in them? They were kind of like rubbery. And they were used for counting and stuff. I kind of did, but not really. This is what this reminds me of. But we're not going to do any counting today. I already read you a story. Actually, a few stories. <laughs> did the story of how I almost perished and I have 
we're gonna do the story of uh, my rendition of Brown Bear, Brown Bear. <laughs> Actually, they kind of seem to uh, fill up the whole jar. Neat. Alright. Trying to be nice and gentle. These are all there. I mean, it's not like they're super fragile, but at the same time, you don't want to shake the gosh darn thing around. It's just not cool, man. It's not cool. even hurts for me just to do that. Now, if I can only find more of these down the road, like another thing of, like, old stock, new stock, then I'd be able to fill the whole entire top off. But, uh, yeah. Look at that. Ain't that cool. It's a jar of animals. Let's, uh, put your hand on in there. Well, you know you got a cat. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Get the lid and cut off the circulation and there you go. My jar of animals. So, uh, hope you enjoyed and, uh, hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.